the technique of uh, capsular suspension is considered to make a safe cataract procedure in uh, cases with heavy pseudapophilidosis. Uh, this is the phase of capsular axis. Note that we pay a lot of attention to make the suitable size of capsular axis in order to avoid uh, too much, much uh, stress uh, with uh, suspension of the capsular back. This is the capsular axis now and uh, after that we suspend the capsular back with five iris retractors before any maneuvers of hydro dissection, rotation of the lens, FACO and uh, cortex aspiration um, in this time you can see the aspiration of the remaining cortex and uh, you can uh, note the, notice the this is a particle of uh, remaining less lens uh, nucleus material. You can uh, no notice here that uh, the capsular back does not float too much. It's stabilized very well with uh, the five iris hooks. This is better than four. It takes uh, a little bit time uh, more, but it's safer. Now we release the capsular back uh, in order to implantate the intraocular lens. Uh, you can notice uh, that this eye is a sick eye with a large vessels around the limbus and uh, a small hemorrhage by 10 o'clock and a lot of uh, pigment dispersion during the procedure. You see here uh, I, we fill the capsule back with helon and after that uh, we implant the lens. Now the loops are placed in the sulcus and uh, we push the uh, optic part of the intraocular lens uh, into the back. And in order to, we aspirate of course the helon, and in order to uh, stabilize and to secure the intraocular lens during the first uh, time post-operatively, uh, we use uh, air in the anterior chamber.